Your reign on the top was short like leprechauns. Now you snitch on your bodyguards, ex-friends, and blood gang dons. Bars. From the moment I saw the Gummo video with Takashi standing in front of dozens of self-admitted blood gang members, I knew that Takashi and whoever else was masterminding the situation was a true marketing genius. Why do people like gangster rap? or action in horror movies for that matter, because they give the thrill, the adrenaline rush of danger without actually being dangerous for the viewer or the listener. But unlike an action movie where Tom Cruise or Will Smith is never in any real danger, gangster rappers have to be living in real danger or they lose their entertainment value. Shoddy's just a roach. Shoddy and cracks, they belong together, you yeah? know? me. I, I, when I was here, I said I was going to be the most watched interview that you guys ever had. And did I lie or not? If you sat down and planned the perfect marketing strategy and image for crossover rap success, one version would look like Takashi. His crazy looks and simple lyrics with a gruff voice brought the outcasts and Slim Jesus types in. But then there he was with real gangsters backing him up. So if you're into that kind of thing, you had to respect it. I was reading about Takashi when he first got hot and I found out something that made it all make sense. Takashi got his start in the music business directing rap videos. So he learned early that for gangster rap, it's all about perception. If you look at the music video for the song I successfully sued and got paid for that he used my voice in, it's full of one shock value image after another. He even managed to wrangle up a Lambo. Like he told all the other gangster rappers, if you all are so real, why is a little kid with rainbow hair running around doing whatever he wanted and no one stopped him? And it's probably not even over for him now. I'd say it's 50-50 that this time next year, he'll be back in the mix making hits and telling everyone how he escaped the clutches of the evil Treyway. Here's where the streets collided with real power. Before Takashi went on to Breakfast Club and said he fired his entire team, he got a new manager, Elliot Grange. Now, who is Elliot Grange? He's the son of billionaire Sir Lucian Grange, head of Universal Music Group, and perhaps the most powerful man in the music business. <laughs> but he's doing that, he's doing that to make King Nye think he don't got no relationship with Boy Boy. That's what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to really, he's trying to separate himself. That's cool, but now he got to get violated. Yeah, super violated. When your first six singles in a row all hit Billboard Hot 100, it's a big deal. And you better know a billionaire's son isn't interested in doing anything other than big business. When Takashi avoided jail time for violating his probation, he went to celebrate with his new manager, Elliot Grange. And then Treyway showed up. Grange's security, definitely not gang members, opened fire. Ironically, one of Takashi's backup goons, Crippy, caught a bullet and got a colostomy bag along with a five-year sentence after the incident. Sadly ironic when you remember that Takashi opened his first hit song with Crippy got the sticky, or something like that, which I took to mean he was his protector. Always know the goons or shooters, or whatever you call them, the frontline soldiers are expendable. They're the first to go, always. And from doing all the crime document, from doing all the crime documentaries I have, from reading all the newspaper articles that I knew weren't accurate, because I also knew that law enforcement had planted information to the media I have an understanding of how things work. And recently I had the opportunity to meet with a real life billionaire to possibly do some business, the owner of an entire film studio. And I know that very, very rich people don't get there by accident. Everything is planned. So if Takashi is being managed by a billionaire's son, you can trust that the stories we read in the big news outlets like the New York Times are at least somewhat influenced and the criminal case might be as well. I wonder if Takashi's new manager had just been some guy, would a RICO case have come down so fast? Maybe, maybe not. Takashi is, to some people, coming off as a victim. Just a kid who didn't know what he was getting himself into.
but he knew who Shadi and Mel Murder were, and he picked them to sidle up to, just like he picked the son of the most powerful man in music as his new manager. Trey Way was a power in the streets, but the Universal Music Group is many levels above the streets in power. Takashi 6 9 has proven that he knows what makes the pop culture tick, and when you know that formula, all the people you make money for will do anything to protect you, or at least the image of you used to sell things. Just look at R. Kelly or Eminem. But I was sworn to secrecy about that one. One of my smart friends, I can't remember who, sorry, told me they will just make him a reggaeton artist. That actually sounds pretty plausible. No, 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 Ain't too much he can really do unless he go run around with a hundred all securities or all day. You know what I'm saying? He gonna get shot at pay. He ain't, ain't getting enough money for that. That's a fact. That's a fact. And he just canceled all his shows. And he ain't a gang member no more. Nah, he ain't nothing. That's, that's what Nick, that's that's what Shotty needs to make sure he do. Nah, we tell that nigga that he's not a gang member no more. He he kicked out the whip. He was never a gang member. Nigga, Shotty need to expose him like. Nah, it's a pussy. You know what he do? He got to go to TMZ. TMZ want to talk to niggas on Monday. And the way Jim Jones is talking to Mel Murder, if a federal prosecutor wanted to, he could paint the picture that Jim Jones is giving a lower-ranking gang member orders to kill Takashi Security. And that's all you, uh, a prosecutor does in a criminal trial. He takes the details of the case and constructs the constructs a plausible but not necessarily true story that seems true to a judge or jury. Takashi had it all figured out, except he made the mistake of thinking he could control the very serious guys who, according to their own words and actions caught on videotape, were shooters and robbers in real life. That's a mistake young people make. They think the world revolves around them, but we're all little planets orbiting other people's sun, just as other people are planets orbiting our own sun. In the next episode of Gangster's Rap, we will talk about the RICO charges and how it played out so far and what's to come. He definitely, he definitely, he definitely humiliated and shoddy right now. Bro. Well, you got your picture up there next to the post, and you're like, when you, when you go to YouTube and World Star, you got his picture next to this shit. Hey, everything he say, you got a, a, a split screen with shiny picture next to this shit. Remember to subscribe and go to Amazon and watch all three episodes of American Dope. Leave a review, share it on social media. American Dope.